All right. Now it, man, I have to say it helps if I actually, you know, hit the right thing before doing it. So, yeah. Hi, friends. It's me. I'm just going to see how this goes. That's where the shot is. Good. All right. Not sure if you can hear the music or not, but here it is. Yeah. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint myself. Uh, I am an artist by trade. I've started to do body painting again. And yeah, life has been fun. So I figure, why not go back to the basics? Why not do what I what I was always doing beforehand? I've had some big life changes recently. So now I am looking for reasons to get back into things. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm just talking to nothing. Hopefully you can hear me okay. <laughs> I look a little different these days, but that's okay. It's kind of what we're going for. Uh, yeah, this is me by myself. This is my own place. If anyone's in Toronto and you ever want to get painted, let me know. Hopefully your days out there are more exciting than this. This is just going to be a nice, easy ride. So yeah, what's happened? What's happened since I last made a thing? Well, I have uh, moved out on my own. I was with someone. I am not anymore. Uh, it's weird being, you know, by yourself. But it also feels kind of good sometimes because I can do things like this in the middle of the day and not have to worry. Yeah, weird summer. Weird, weird-ass summer. Uh... In my class, in my last job, I was actually fired for being gay, so that was fun. Not something that they can legally do, but yeah, it meant that my summer coming into things was a lot more stressful than it needed to be. So not only was I going through like a weird job loss situation, but also a divorce, so that's also fun. So yeah, that's where I've been, and that's why I'm here, that's why I'm doing this, that's why I want to have some fun. So... Yeah, if you want to talk, feel free to talk. I can answer any questions anyone posts in the chat. I can also, if anyone has any requests or wants to do anything, we can do that too. So yeah, it's also very, very hard to paint yourself while also talking, so. If anyone has any color suggestions as well, or you want to see me do a specific color, you know, just hit it up in the chat. Let me know. Happy to do. Let's see. Let's see. Just going to move closer so I can see the details. There we go. <laughs> I also is a bit unusual for what this channel normally has on it. But hopefully y'all can forgive me for getting back to my artistic roots. I've been body painting for 10 years now. It's kind of amazing to think about, but... Also, I'm probably only going to be able to do the front and like a little bit of the sides, like this area. Just because this is hard to paint. This is... The back's impossible to paint by yourself. But... You know, one step at a time. My first time doing a live stream like this, so feel free to let me know what's going on and I can make adjustments or whatever. Man, this paint is thick. Ah. <sighs> Let's 
Grazie. Yeah, whenever I make some of these videos, I feel like I get a lot of people who are just like, no, just, you know, do what you've always done. My trick is, is like, it's so boring. Like, who wants to just see the same thing over and over again? Like, I can make a million videos where I'm just like, well, I'm still like, I'm a little heavier than I was. Like, I'm not definitely not lighter than I was. And being by myself, like, it's pretty much just been, like, it's been a lot of junk food. It's been a lot of just getting things ready. I don't really go have a gym or anything I go to right now. And it's like, it's literally just been kind of figuring out how to live by myself first. And now everything's kind of, you know, hopping back in. But I just like, it's videos like this that are at least somewhat creative and I can do something different and engaging. That's not just like the same typical content everyone makes over and over again, right? So yeah, this is something that only I can do. Well, I mean, anyone can technically do this, but who else would? It's silly. No one likes to be creative. So yeah. So yeah, hopefully everyone else has had an easier you know, summer slash fall than I have. But hopefully my winter is much easier than the last two seasons. I can say that, right? I can hope. I can make it a thing. We don't have to judge. Let's see. Got some purple here. My idea was to, like, take these shorts and then, like, work them up. So I'm trying to, like, do this all while also, you know, Highlighting my assets. Man, do you know how much... It's it's weird to, like, paint yourself when you have more of a belly. Because, like, I have to, like, lean over myself now to paint underneath. <laughs> the little things you don't expect. Let's see. Like, I can use the mirror for there. Like, but then I don't... I can't go right up to the line. But yeah, what do you think? If you like this kind of stuff, let me know. If you don't, you know, whatever. Tell me to go to hell. I mean, so many people are doing that lately. It's just like, oh, I don't like what you're doing. You should, like, go space off and not. And just like, no, that's... Well, I'm definitely not going to do it now because you told me to. <laughs> Trolls are interesting. Yeah. So how was everyone's summer? Do we have more? Hopefully everyone had more fun than I did. Let's see. How deep has my navel become? It's like there. You know, it's still there. Still a thing. <laughs> I actually did a, a show this summer where I was body painting live for the first time in years. The whole reason I stopped doing this was because of, uh, in my marriage, um, this was one of the things that kind of fell to the wayside. This was one of the things that, you know, became not tabooish, but like I wasn't allowed to do it anymore because, you know, you're painting something, it's going to make a little mess. So when you make a little mess in this household, that was that wasn't okay. So you had to actually, like, work around it. And I feel like my whole vibe, I need to force myself to be body positive even when I'm not. But lately, like, I don't know. I've been very surprised at the number of people lately who have enjoyed my body for what it is. Versus what I've always been told people want. So... I guess it might be a good lesson to learn. You know. Not that anyone comes to me for life advice. Nor should you. It's your life. Do what you want. But, you know. I can think of a bunch of people whose advice I should have taken. Man, makeup is weird. 
this has been my fault too for like not getting into this as much as I should have while I was out of commission. It's been fun. Nice getting back to this sort of stuff. It is weird kind of paint. Like the human body is curves, right? So when you're painting, I kind of have to anticipate where the lines look in the camera. Because even going this way, you can see like they like go different directions based off of where you are. So you have to get them as straight as you can in the camera because your body is more bulbous than you think it is. <laughs> is anyone listening to anything good? Would I ever be willing to chug anything like this live? You know what? I would. I absolutely would. I have no beverages on me. I just finished my last, like, even soda water. I don't even have soda water right now. One of the things about being, you know, jobless and uh, divorced means I didn't get a lot. But, yeah. I mean, if I had something to chug, I absolutely would. But... <laughs> I mean, I know, like, yeah, you know, I'm doing this to be, to feel powerful and positive, but like, you know, body's still hot, I think. I still like what I'm doing. Oh, that's a nice yellow. Look at that. Look at that. You know, yellow and purple always looks good together. Not sure what everyone's listening to. I imagine everyone's still listening to Taylor Swift. That's fine. <laughs> Is that... Uh, it's a little... I hate when this happens with yellow. Because yellow just needs to like touch a single other color. And now suddenly it's just an entirely different like shade. Yellow's really hard to work with. It's like Mariah Carey. Not from experience. I've never worked with Mariah Carey myself, but I imagine it's the same as working with Mariah Carey. She would be someone interesting to body paint one day. Plus, I feel like this view is rather complimentary for me right now, which is good. I'm watching in the mirror, watching the freaking hell. There. I could do something here. This is about as far as I can go back. No, no, oh shit. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I guess I can turn this into a gradient, which I can do. I mean, unless anyone wants to come paint me, which I don't think is bound to happen anytime soon. All right, watch, watch, watch this. Everyone should enjoy this a little bit. If I just do some random wet lines. It's all going to get painted anyway. By going with wet, going with wet. There we go. Better. All right. Now I'm actually going to do the same thing on the other side, too. So I feel like that was even actually more successful than I thought it would be. If I go. Just not even going to try to make shapes at this point. There's no point. Going in with the solid color. 
I think you look good, but I'm happy you feel that way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? It's good to like, I don't know. I'm slowly learning still how to be positive about my body. Like that was kind of, I don't know. You know, the, the project initially gave me a chance to like express who I was like physically and like actually be able to look at this whole gaining encouraging world through an artistic lens. But at the same time, like this is, this is primarily who I am still. This is like, I guess the most un, it's always you, right? No one really knows who you are. We don't even know who we are. That's a whole conversa philosophical conversation I love getting into with people. It's just like... Yeah. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> Let's see. All right, that turned out okay. Oh, this is a bit of a weird thing to do. I'm not gonna lie. Like, most people are here for one reason and one reason only because they wanna see me A, gain weight, and B, like, revel in it, which is fair. That's a, what a very sexy part of things. But, I don't like just, I don't know. I always find that very reductive where I'm just like, yeah, there are times where I think that's hot, but there's also times where I'm just like, you know what? Let's do something really freaking unusual. And then let's start a whole new, let's start a whole new kink that people didn't think they could have. So, you know, why limit ourselves? Isn't that the point? Go all in all the time. There's someone who's out there right now who's going to be like, oh, this is new. And I'm just like, yeah. Actually, this is I've actually started painting people, like, live in the city again. So I put it on, like, I have a profile on Scruff and Growler and whatever. And I put it on the thing there. And a lot of people have hit me up being like, hey, can you paint me for free? And I'm just like, no. My cost starts at $100 an hour. Because these are expensive paints. Like, they, they're not cheap. But it's good. And I'm happy I did that because then I can actually, like, you know, weed out the people who are actually serious. And, yeah, so many people are just like, I'm, I'm a, I think I'm sexy. I th I'm a sexy person. Can you paint me for free? I'm just like, no. No, I can't. No, I don't want to. So. <laughs> I'm sure this will be something that a lot of people look at later and, like, fast forward through to get to the good parts. Cause like, I don't know, it's, oh man, shoot. I don't know. There's a lot you can do to like paint someone to look thinner and there's a lot you can do to paint someone to look bigger. So one thing you can do, if you ever did want to do that, like, because light comes from this angle, like, light comes from all over, right? But if you can trick where the light's going, you can actually make yourself look different. So one thing that you can do, if, you know, you know, if you happen to have an old thing of body paint around, there's certain tricks you can do to kind of capture the light to make it look like it's hitting you at different points. So this is, like, the reason I'm using white right now is just because it's a nice, solid background. And I can kind of do stuff over top of it without having too much issue. Sorry, this is like, like I have to focus on myself, but I also have to focus on what the camera sees. It's taking a bit of getting used to, but. 
I actually did a whole show this summer for Fringe where this is what I did. I did painted myself on stage and I painted someone else live on stage. It was good. Let me see. So this is something I've been curious about for a while now because like a lot of the times I'll paint people with like strong lines going in, which can kind of like make someone look more fit. But if you wanted to make someone look bigger, you could kind of just do the opposite, which is where you take like softer rounder lines and highlight certain areas. So if like, for instance, if I took some blue, just emphasized like this, for instance, theoretically, this could start to emphasize some of the things that are already there. Let's see if I can get some more color on this. There would also be like a stronger shadow line here. Let's see how that looks. Not the best. <sighs> oh, well. Man, I made this mistake earlier. It's because I'm working with white, and when you're working with white, it can very easily turn to like other colors. So as soon as you get a little bit in there, it just doesn't, but also white's really hard with the brush to really pack it in, in specific ways. So, you know, normally pack it in would mean something different, but that's okay. Never really painted the curves of my body before. Let's see how this goes. Man, when I'm painting this myself, like everything is going to just look so much different from this angle. But I think I'm onto something now. I think this is going to work. Let's see. This comes down like this. And this would come down like this. Water. <laughs> so the untold uh, trouble with this is that I'm painting here. This is my computer. This is my livelihood. So I have to be very careful about what I'm doing. Let's see. It should come in like that. Let's see. And if I really want to draw attention to it, I just do this. And it's like, it's kind of in my instinct to try to do like structural shapes. So doing something organic is kind of odd for me.
Also, if anyone ever wants to get painted, let me know. Always doing this lately, so. I need as many excuses as I can to get it out there again, so. Let's see. This is... Okay, second monitor is here. So this shows me where I'm painting. But the camera's here. So everything's not only reversed, it's also like backwards and weird. So I have to kind of remember where my body is in relative to reality rather than... rather than to where everything is. As well, I will never be a drag queen. Maybe I will, who knows. Let's see. So if my body goes like this, it's kind of just highlighting every quote unquote unflattering angle. Because what that will do is it should work organically with the body at this point. Yeah, far from a six pack. <laughs> Let's see. Again, this way, this way. Very confusing. If anyone has anything they want to ask, feel free. I'm still here, still talking. That was going to be a very long video of me just being like semi-nude in front of people, pouring pigment all over myself. So feel free. Uh, other than for fun, what's the inspiration for painting abstract shapes like that? Uh, a couple different reasons. Number one is just to have something that makes you feel powerful. And one of the things that's really powerful for people is actually we all have, a, this is going to sound weird. We all have a relationship to shapes. Like everyone has like shapes that they resonate with. It sounds kind of strange to say, but I'm just like, I've always resonated with diamonds and triangles. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I have them so prominent in my paintings. But what makes it so interesting is that uh, these shapes and forms and stuff, like even hard lines, they can all be very empowering for people because it's like you have something familiar on yourself that makes you feel connected. And by like, if I can do like hyper-realistic stuff, but I find these abstraction and shapes are easy to kind of like breathe uh, meaning into on the person themselves. So normally when someone comes to me with something like that, they'll be like, oh, I want to have something that makes me feel like creative. So for creative, I'll do like swirls or I'll do something struck, like very, very loose and organic. So something like this. But if I'm doing something that's very like structured and solid, I'll often have something that has more rigid lines in it. Just to kind of keep that person's personality like in the forefront. And for instance, with this, the reason why I kind of went semi-structured and semi-formal is because I really wanted something that kind of, my life right now isn't perfect, but it, it's rebuilding itself. So that's kind of why I'm going with, with this. That's kind of what I feel. It's just because what I feel like what I am right now. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. And yeah, good question. Thank you for that question. That's very nice. I wasn't going to do my shoulders and arms and stuff, but now I am. So what am I doing with my shoulders and arms? I don't know. We'll find out. 
by the way, I don't know if you guys can if let me know if you guys can hear the music because like it's it's YouTube, so I'm not supposed to be playing music. It should just be quiet. But I'm also just like I don't think anyone cares enough about this to listen. But it's it's all of my most played songs right now. So you're getting all of the embarrassment and all of the hilarity at one time. This is my arm, my little baby arm. By the way, if anyone wants to see anything as well, just let me know. I can highlight things. I can go over stuff. I can try to get a better view in the camera. So I could smooth this out a little bit. Damn it, titties. <laughs> ah, again. This is a mind, this is a mind fuck that I don't think people quite hopefully people are forgiving enough of it. Also, normally people don't paint their own back. But sometimes it needs to be done. If I ever want to go for a Guinness record, maybe that's one I could go for. Let's see. Oh. I remember this was my original intention for the game project was I was actually going to paint myself every time I gained five pounds just to show the world that, you know, you can be strong and sexy and confident in any weight. The problem was, well, without going too much into it, let's just say it was kind of kiboshed by uh, a, I gained weight far faster and easier than I thought I would, which, you know, was both a positive and a negative, but it also like really affected my relationship with my ex. And so that was something that kind of fell to the wayside. I didn't get to do as much of the painting part of it as I wanted to. Let's see. If you can't see anything, just let me know, and I'm happy to kind of try to turn and rotate how I need to while still doing this. Unless you're watching this in the future, in which case you missed out. But if this ends up being like something that people like, I can always like do it again. I don't have any con. I don't have any uh, qualms about putting this out there and doing this more often. I think I'm just about done. Oh, again, always happy to take 
suggestions or requests. Just let me know what you're thinking. Oh, that's nice. That one turned out good. All right, now we're going to get intense here. Because what I have to do is I have to get right up and try to figure out where the lines are between things on my own bulges and body. How's that looking? That's looking good. Okay, nice. Nice. I'm happy with that. This is where it gets fun and intense. When you have to move your own body out of the way in order to paint something. Let's see. <laughs> if there's any part of this that's going to get screen captured, I think I know what it is. <laughs> It's just a random question. If you guys can hear the music, just let me know because I can. I actually have no idea. I have no idea if anything's playing there. A good song. Okay. Not sure if anyone can hear this, but if you think it's a good idea, should I outline all of these like this? Because I can. I'm trying to figure out what works best for this current pattern. Be painting for how long now? About 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Okay, I accidentally turned myself into a Kandinsky, which I'm kind of which I'm kind of digging. Not gonna lie. This needs something. I can't see what's over here though. Going totally blind. Okay. If people like this, I'm happy to do this more often too. Maybe I'll even get guests in here that you can actually like see and influence the paintings. That could be fun.
Also, if anyone happens to be seeing this and you are not subscribed to my rank channel, um, my ex has recently been, he's currently one of my like most recent subscribed. So if you happen to subscribe over there to kind of just make it so I don't have to see his name every time he comes online, that would be great. <laughs> Ooh. Thanks, Nick. Very nice. Snake form. Like this. I don't have any reference. Literally, all I have right now is this camera and this. This is my like, this is my like second monitor. So if I look this way, it's because I'm looking at myself in this camera, if that makes sense. So I'm literally just kind of going off of my body and trying to trying to paint myself. Yeah, I kind of came into this with no plan. Ah, fuck the body. It's hard. <laughs> this is me trying to suck in, by the way. <laughs> Just like, oh, no. It doesn't quite work anymore, but that's okay. Yeah. By the way, these are short. If you like the swim trunks, I'm thinking about selling swim trunks at my clothing company again. So if you like them, let me know because I'd be very tempted to go from them. Yeah, it's kind of like expressionism, which is nice. Will this be available to watch later? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that would help. It would be for my other channel anyways. But yeah, that's just me being selfish. Because like, I don't know. I got, you know. I ended up dating someone like really quickly after my divorce. Which, by the way, if you're just joining us, welcome. Here's some trauma-rama for you. Uh... I ended up dating someone like really quickly after my divorce and we were really good for about like four months. And then I got to the point where I was just like, Oh, I think I'm in love with this person. And then like, as soon as I did that, they were just like, you know what? Uh, I've decided I don't want to date anymore because we're different people. I'm just like, we were so good literally like two days ago, but say la vie, they're lost, right? That's what they say. I'm just like, you know what? Maybe it's good. It's good to like just go out and not have to care about one specific person. I don't know. I catch the feelings too easy. That's why I shouldn't be allowed outside anymore. <laughs> but if anyone's in Toronto at any point, let me know and I'll paint you. I can do this with like multiple people. I not gonna, I actually really like how this is turning out. I'm kind of proud of this one. Oh, I missed these two. This one's a little hard to paint from this angle with this particular instance. So I'm going to try to make sure that you can see it as I'm doing it. Let's see. Doing my best to inspire new fetishes since right now. <laughs> All right. You're going to get a, a very big close up of my face now. So, Frank. this this one. This one's going to be interesting. Let's see. Oh, that went better than I thought it would. Okay. Done. Okay. Oh, I don't want to jinx this because this is actually kind of good. Okay, slow. Slow. Oh, man, this is good. Don't fuck it up. Do not. Do not. Do not. I did not. Kind of did. That's fine.
Oh no, how do I do this one? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. How do I do this? <laughs> do this. <laughs> oh, hold on. If I do this this way, y'all can still see, right? Right? We'll find out. <laughs> uh, well, Shane, stop deleting your Tumblr. Just find me on Twitter or something. <laughs> no, I think most people have kind of deleted their Tumblr at this point. No, fuck off, Google. They're just being like, oh, are you trying to take a picture? Use this instead. Just like, no. I'm literally just trying to look. Stop it. Oh, no. Uh, I got some smudge lines there, but that should be okay, I think. But yeah, I will try to be like here more often. Because I feel like... I don't know. You know, I figured I'm kind of at that point now where I can kind of not have to worry so much about things. So I can actually just do things for fun right now. And I've always enjoyed, like, coming online and talking to people about this sort of stuff. But I'm also trying to be more open as well with my identity just as a whole. Like... Who doesn't want to have, you know, I'm just like, who cares? I've, I've discovered that when people find out that I'm into like, I'm not just into like the grammar world. I'm not, I'm not just into gaining and encouraging, but like, I feel like that kind of body positivity is very much like needed in the world to just kind of be like, you know what? Maybe there's nothing wrong with this, but I've also been like uncoupling a lot of things in terms of like sex as well. And being like, how long have I been like assuming that I was, you know, a specific way because of like what I was attracted to or what? So I don't know if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. But long story short, uh, I'm not in the best place, but I'm in a good place. So what did I do with the eye? Okay. I need this bag. Oh, no. Why am I doing this live? Let's see. How's that look? It's a little solid, but that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. I'm not, not scared. <laughs> All right. Any other words that I think I could add something? I like that. I like this a lot, actually. It's a little sloppy, but that's okay. Since when did anyone on a site complain if things were sloppy? Sloppy eating, sloppy painting, whatever. It's all the same. It's all the same. Body positivity never hurt. Body positivity never hurts. It's good for us to all have that kind of idea of like, this is, you know, what if this is my idealized self, you know? 
What if people look at the internet just like, hey, that, that's like man perfection. Do I think anyone does? Probably not. But like, hey, someone could. And every right to, like, they should have every right to. <sighs> okay. Question. Do I do the right arm? Because that means I'm painting with my bad arm. I mean, I've gone this far, right? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just like, well, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> Would you love more? I mean, I think I love enough. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's do this the only way I know how. I should be able to do this arm as well. As you can tell by my rough holding of the paintbrush, I don't know how well this will go, but as long as I can make it look somewhat logical compared to, with everything else, that's the important thing. I could just do my old trick as well, which is where you just get it really, really wet. And just smather it on. As you can see, this is a highly technical part. And then I just go. Effective coverage. Then you get your hands all gross, but that's fine. My hands are always gross. Never ask where they've been. The answer is always going to be probably in paint. But sometimes the answer is much more exciting. Sometimes the answer is something else, like food. But usually paint, usually paint. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, next time I do this, I need to make sure I have soda. <laughs> well, it's it's funny when that you say that smudging is good to cover the canvas, because you'd be amazed how many people are just like, oh, well, I can, I can do finger painting on you. I'm just like, you laugh, but like... Legitimate technique. It actually comes in handy, so. <laughs> All right. Anyone got an idea for what color I should do the next few? And I have purple and blue on this side. Let's see. Just could color that a little bit just so it doesn't look like it's nothing. Yellow and blue. Done. See, here's the thing. I love body positivity and everything. I will always be of the mindset where I wish my arms were bigger. But I'm also just like, I do not work out nearly enough for that to be like any kind of consistent growth or anything that's happening there at least i haven't in the past you know with with the right thing anything can change but like it's not like i don't have any muscle there it's just very very you know i'm muscle light <laughs> just eat more i mean that is you know i don't think anyone would complain if i did <laughs> It's amazing how you start being your authentic self and suddenly other people are just like, wow, it doesn't matter if you've gained like 10, 20 pounds or if you're going to gain 10, 20 pounds. It's just like, nope, still think that you're, they'll still think you're awesome. That's very encouraging to learn after being with someone who for many years did not have that opinion. 
which is kind of one of the reasons why this whole like thing never really progressed to where I wanted it to. And it was just because as much as I wanted to like bring it to completion, I was kind of stopped halfway through. Cause I remember there was one day where I was in the middle of the project and we were driving somewhere and they looked at me and they're just like, I don't find you attractive anymore. And I was just like, that really hurt. Cause I was just like, that's, you know, it's, it's your, it's your partner. It's your life partner at that point. It's the person who's supposed to have your back at every time. They're just like, you know, I don't think you're attractive. And I just like, I know that shouldn't have affected me as much as it did, but like, you know, it does. It, it, hurt, it hurts. Yeah, anyone watches this all the way through, power to you, because this is just, you know, I'm probably going to have to put a trigger warning in this or something. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Sorry, I just got back. That's fine, bud. Thanks. I'm amazed that you're still here. I'm also kind of amazed how many people are like attracted to armpit hair. Not that I, not that I didn't hear, like, I have no issue with it. It's just kind of one of those things that I don't have an opinion on. So, yeah. Oh, good song. It's a little, yeah, I like that. Bad hand, bad hand, bad hand. Anyone have any strong feelings on Casey Musgraves? It's fine if you do. It's fine if you don't. I don't know her well enough. This is really the only song by her I know if you can hear it. I know a lot of people have strong opinions about Taylor Swift right now. I actually just ranked her Midnight's album, but I hadn't listened to it all. So I was trying to listen to it at the same time. So I did a live ranking. I'm like, it was fun. It was good. I don't like, and you know what? Good for her. I love that she's, you know, become such a success. For me personally, I'm just like, I don't quite know why everyone's losing like their mind over the hype. I thought her last album was a lot better. Like the, the Evergrove, what's it called? I don't know. I also like minor Carly Rae, Jep Carly Rae Jepsen obsession is just kind of something I have. I thought her new album was excellent, but I also haven't heard it all the way through yet. I think I'm done. I think this is it. Jet Fuel Queen. Is that a thing? Jet Fuel Queen? I feel like that's a reference I don't catch. I'm very old. So let's see. I think people are surprised whenever I tell them how old I am. I'm just like, I'm the age where I should have more of my life put together than I did. But at the same time, Taylor Swift, the Jet Fuel Queen. Is it because they're like she's inflammatory or something? Let's see. Move my hair poof out of the way for a second. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. I didn't even paint this part of my forehead because my hair's in the way. That's fine. No one needs to know. I think this is it, guys. What do you think? Let's see. This is... This is a little blank still. All right. Well, if you like this, if you want to see me do more of these in the future, if you have any suggestions for things I should do in the future, uh, just let me know. I'm always curious to know what other people think. And yeah, 
this is this is what I came up with today. One hour self paint. Get things together. Make it good. Thanks for joining me today. So, yeah. This is where I'm at now. This is what I'll start from in the future. So we'll have something here. She's a baddie, though. Probably. I don't think anyone should have a private jet. <laughs> that's that's my personal my personal opinion. But you know. Although I can't she can't be the worst single well if uh, I don't know. Probably is now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, love the power. Thank you. Very nice of you to say. Yeah, I appreciate you guys just kind of hanging out with me for a minute and then hopefully I have more for you in the future. And yeah, I'm not really sure what um, the game project will look like going forward, but right now it's mostly just body love, self-acceptance, be yourself, have fun. And I think my body project right now is just to become very confident and sexy in my own body. So that's, you know, that's my goal. That's my intention. That's what I want to do. And so from here, get to see where this goes going forward. So if you have any suggestions for what you want to see, what you want me to do, if there's anything that you would like, you know, me to work with at all, like we can do that too. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. This is what's going on. And I feel like it's good for me to make these kind of videos because it keeps me gonna sound weird it keeps me public it keeps me like in the same realm as people it keeps me grounded and activated so yeah plus i can actually oh there's some parts here i don't like but that's okay yeah i guess i'm kandinsky today so next time i want to try something with a little bit more camouflage so like i actually want to get like, I'll probably paint myself one color, but then use my paints to highlight specific areas to make myself look, like, more strong and more big and, more, like, just to try different things with color, but it's the same color. But, yeah, this is what I'm doing now. This is how it's going to go. So, yeah, if you have any ideas or any suggestions, let me know because I'm very curious to know what other people think as well. All right. Until next time, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It was really great talking to you. And... Yeah, hopefully it's something I can do more often. And Snake, Nick, everyone else who ch chatted in, I appreciate having you here. It's been good. All right. I'll see you guys later.